go up like five pounds. I'll do another set of these. I felt pretty good. You want to clean up over here? How's everyone doing tonight? So I couldn't go to sleep today without going to the gym. Got some trips coming up next week, Houston, beginning of April, it's Brazil, and then end of April is London, UK. Come back here later for some curls, uh, concentration curls, and I just do my cable exercise that I like. No oh, man, there's no baddies at this gym. It's my apartment gym. At the other one, yeah. This one, no. Especially not this late. But for an apartment, it's actually pretty good gym size, to be honest. It's probably one of the best apartment gyms that I've had, as far as the size and the type of equipment is concerned. As far as like back, maybe shoulders and arms, I can definitely do it here because 
they have pretty much everything that I can and I need now for like chest shoulders now I gotta really gotta go to the other gym legs too but for arms and like back it's not bad I like them slow and concentrated like that and it works good. I don't know what got a sweat over here. Very little breaks. Just trying to get some blood in the muscle. I'm not going for any PRs. I'm just trying to get as much blood flow as possible.
No. No. Oh. Oh. Almost done. Thanks for the rose. I appreciate it. Also, thank you guys for following me, liking the live, and sharing the live. Really helps get me through these late night workouts. I wouldn't really feel like doing without you guys. Keep me motivated. Maybe two more sets of something. I gotta find the stuff wherever, wherever it is. And find the other handle. That's enough for, for back and biceps. Like another maybe 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes of cardio. Just to finish it up. Do incline to speed about four four miles an hour. Should be good enough. I think arm workout's pretty good. I'm feeling good. Appreciate that. Thanks for the gift. Almost 10 o'clock, 9.30. Almost didn't feel like doing it, but now I feel good that I did. It's always like that, man. You just don't want to go to the gym, and then when you're here, kind of just having fun, and I always do more sets than I actually plan on doing, which is good. I'm testing different pre-workouts. found a really good one. 
I'm gonna feature it up next. My next apartment life. I'm gonna review my supplements. Maybe do a couple more dishes. Just made a cheesecake earlier for tomorrow. It's my kind of sort of cheat day. You get a haircut tomorrow, that's why I'm wearing the hat. Having a bad hair day. But yeah, I'm coming live next week from Houston, Texas, then from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And the end of April, we're going live from London, UK. It's going to be a year of international travel, different destinations, different gyms, different lives. Looking forward to all of that this year. Getting in better shape, putting in more size, and then leaning out at the same time. It's the most difficult thing to do, but trying our best. So I need to keep some kind of cardio up. At least four or five times a week. Oh, this is just about, like I said, about 150 minutes of cardio per week. Whether it's indoors or outdoors, doesn't matter. I already walked a mile and a half earlier outside. So this is just extra. But it's just extra calories burned, so it helps me out when I'm eating more food. Been a little more hungry now, haven't put on some size, so make sure those calories are burned off. Just didn't get a little bit more color, still too white. Then go tanning again tomorrow. We need like three, four more sessions. We're going to do about 15 minutes of cardio today. It's enough. But yeah, I actually really like this gym. This gym is pretty cool. For an apartment gym, it's actually fairly large. Almost has like over 10 pieces of cardio equipment. Dumbbells go up to 75. It's not bad. Unfortunately, the squat rack is broken, so I can't do any legs here or chest, shoulders, but other than that, it's not bad. Yeah, I'm sorry that I couldn't be live all the time. I really do try, but lately my job's been pretty demanding during the week, so it's going to be kind of more so on the weekend since I'm still going to the gym every day at the other gym where I can film. Otherwise, I would go live there, but I can't. But until about July, I'll be pretty busy with my work schedule. So towards the later part of the year, I'll probably do a lot more content. But it's okay. I'm kind of slowly building it anyways. It's a long-term plan for me. My dream would be just to travel around the world, go to different gyms while I do online coaching, but it's going to take some time to build that many clients to replace my income. But I got time, so not in a rush.
Oh. Oh, I actually got a decent heart rate now. I gotta slow it down. Where are we at? Ah, oh, it's not bad actually. I thought it was. I'm in better shape than I thought. Summer is around the corner. Well, you know, get ready now. I said, start with start with 150 minutes of cardio a week. And a diet consisting of a gram of protein per pound of body weight. Right, the same for carbs and about a third or less for fats. Fats are actually good for you, they just have a lot of calories. Getting in good shape always starts with the diet first, not with the gym. Get yourself a good kitchen scale, prepare your meals, write everything down so you know how many calories you're eating. It's the only way to really be successful. I don't really care for the season of the year. I want to be in good shape all the time. I don't care if it's summer, winter, or whatever. I don't really have an off season. I mean, not really. I try to just Consistency is really the, the name of the game. It's not like you can't have a few days that you eat bad. The overall time in a month you're good and consistent with the gym, the diet, and the cardio, then a few days here and there don't matter. It's really just a lifestyle change and a mindset. Some people can do it, some can't. Some people want it, some don't. I mean, there's better things to do than doing cardio at 9.30 or 10 o'clock. I had my difficult years a couple of years back where this time of the night I would be sitting at the bar. But no more of that shit. Now it's just focus. Focus on work and focus on the body. Focus on life. No more waste of time. And I wasted a lot of time in my life. No more. Be the best version of myself. Best shape. That's what, that's what matters to me right now. Appreciate the follow, but it doesn't follow me. I follow back. Really appreciate all the all the followers I had. You know, I started back in December, a little bit before then. It's around a thousand followers now. This is nine thousand. Been been awesome.
it is my my plan to bring a lot more really fun lives not just the boring cardio talks but like i said right now it's pretty difficult for me and my my project at work so but i will be doing more of the lives that i used to do in the apartment and more gym lives more collaborations more traveling just be patient it's coming I'm just me. Okay. Good title. Well, hit me up on a DM or a private message on TikTok for anything you guys wanted me to, to do live or any kind of content, anything you're interested in. Let me know. I always look for feedback. Give me some ideas. What you guys want to me to do next what part of the world you want me to go to also follow me on Instagram links in my bio also my link tree I have a YouTube channel where some of my workouts are full full videos they're not really edited because I don't have time for that but some of the videos are there in full length Okay, a couple more minutes. I'm pretty much done. I need to start doing this shit earlier. Sometimes I can't go to sleep. You know, hyped up. Also, I'm, I'm reviewing Trifecta. Meal preps company, Trifecta. Because in the next two weeks, I've been pretty busy. So I ordered some meals ready already prepared meals and have really time to cook so I'm testing those out they have like a 50% off thing so it's like about 21 meals for like a hundred bucks like five dollars a meal is pretty cheap usually they're ten bucks so I order like 20 to check it out it's a pretty good deal five dollars a meal Had a two or three, so it's not bad. It doesn't blow me away, but it's definitely convenient just to pop one in the microwave. Obviously, it has all the nutrition on the label, so you really completely be accurate in, in your diet. There's no measuring needed. But if I were to use those meals full time, it would probably drip, triple my grocery bill. It would be like over a thousand dollars a month, worth is like maybe 400, 500. This chicken is cheap. We can see three to four meals a day. It's about about a hundred meals. Yeah, thousand twelve hundred dollars easy. Not sure if I want to do that. I really don't mind meal prepping sometimes it only takes a couple hours a week but as you guys know when I finished them so far it's pretty good but there's like four or five companies out there I'm gonna test them all get all their first time specials <laughs> why not Okay, I'll do 20 minutes, might as well. I'm motivated now. Five more minutes. But this is what it is, guys. You know, do like 20, 30 minutes of cardio. It's about three, 400 calories. Look five, six days a week. It's already 3,000 calories plus working out. That's the extra food you can eat. It's all about calories in and calories out. (coughs) 
There's no magic diet. There's no fat burning effect. There's no fat burner pills. There's none of that shit. These fat burner pills are just appetite suppressants. That's all it is. That's what I'm saying. There is no miracle. There's just eating less calories that your body needs. Either by restricting the calories or by exercising. There is no pill. Ozempic, all it does is make you not hungry. So it's not the pill that burns the calories. It's you eating less. Favorite protein shakes. Well, I do still vanilla and chocolate, really. Sometimes I put blueberries in there. Sometimes I put a little bit of that sugar-free jello mix in there, which intensifies the flavor. Use some xanthan gum to thicken it up, makes it more like a scoopable ice cream. Makes it thicken it some more, so it's more like a real food to eat versus just drinking a liquid shake. But I try to stay away from shakes. I prefer solid meals. They fill me up more, they digest longer, they process better. Shakes is really just supplementation. I'm not really doing those on a regular basis. The only way I do them is if I'm short on the protein and I just can't stuff myself with food anymore, then I'll use it. But normally I don't really stay away from it. Same for protein bars. It's really just a, on an emergency basis, traveling on the go, don't have time to eat. But if you can, I would always just eat solid foods. But otherwise, I'll just use whey protein, isolate. I do use the protein uh, powder a lot in baking though. When I make the cheesecakes or the muffins or some other dishes, I use a protein powder in those. But I don't really have a favorite brand. I only care about that they're third party tested so the label is accurate like optimum nutrition, Gold standard, those are pretty good. You can buy them on Amazon, they test it. Pretty good price too, can't go wrong with it. Take the incline down, go in a cool down phase, the last minute or so. All right, I'm at 20 minutes, guys. shut it down for the night I really appreciate it guys thanks a lot for hanging out with me there's gonna be a lot more lives coming maybe for now mostly on the weekends I try for more I'll do one tomorrow night probably maybe I can do a recipe at your apartment or something I'll let you guys know otherwise I see you again soon have a great night I really appreciate you hanging out with me as always I'll be back <laughs>